Nope. My tomato pizza sauce is still very liquidy. So it would take me many, many hours to cook down and quite frankly, I don't have that time. So I'm going to make tomato sauce instead. Script change, change it up, videos moving on. That's what we're making now. Capiche? Let's continue. So today we are making pizza sauce. I am just using a recipe from my Ball Home Preserving Cookbook. And it is super simple. We just need 13 cups of tomato puree. We need one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of dried oregano. That is it. And then we need our lemon juice or our citric acid to be able to acid, put acid in each of our jars that we are doing. This recipe here makes five pint-sized jars. So I am also going to be making these half pint jars uh, just because whenever we make pizza, we don't use a lot of sauce because I'm not that big of a sauce person on my pizza. So I'm just gonna make small jars and I'm also gonna be making the pint sized jars. So I'm gonna be making two batches. So let's get started. So we are going to puree our tomatoes. These are the ones that are fresh from the garden. I'm just gonna get my food strainer hooked together on my KitchenAid mixer so we can get started. I have my bowl for the tomato juice, my bowl for the pulp, and I'm just gonna stick in a bunch of cherry tomatoes so we can get started. So I have my tomato puree going on the stove already. I've already put in my ingredients. I'm just cooking it down, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker and then we will start the jarring process. If you've been here for any amount of time, you know that I am not perfect and I make mistakes. This is a prime example of that. I did not, <laughs> I didn't read the directions fully and I thought tomato puree. Well, that just means you put the tomatoes through the food mill or a food processor, whatever, and right, that's how you get it. And then you just cook it down a little bit. Nope, my tomato pizza sauce is still very liquidy. So it would take me many, many hours to cook down and quite frankly, I don't have that time. So if you would like to make tomato puree, here's how you do it. You pass quartered tomatoes using an electric strainer or food mill. If you do not have an electric strainer or food mill, blanch, peel, core, seed, and chop the tomatoes. Place in a colander and let stand for 15 minutes. Discard the liquid and puree the tomatoes in a food processor. Fit it with a metal blade. I didn't do that. So there's a lot of juice in my tomatoes. So you know what? Whatever. I'm going to make tomato sauce instead. Not pasta sauce, just straight up tomato sauce. The kind of sauce that you just put in a crock pot and you put some ground up beef and some beans and you make chili with. Because I will use that. I will not appreciate having to stand in the kitchen for hours and hours and hours to cook down this stinking sauce that I've already done. So I am going to make a seasoned tomato sauce. So script change, change it up, videos moving on. That's what we're making now. Capiche? Let's continue. So since we've had a little bit of change of plans, my jars have changed now because there's no point in me using these little jars for the new seasoned tomato sauce that I'm making instead of pizza sauce because I'm gonna use more than this. So it would just be a waste of jars because every time I make chili, I would use at least two. So why take up that much space when you could just use one of these? So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna be making more pint-sized jars and I'm gonna be taking these half pints jars off. And then I think I'm even going to get some quart jars because I have some extra tomatoes. So I just might as well make this a whole tomato sauce day. And that is where we are going with this. So I'm, I've already separated my jars. I put my rings over here. My lids or my flats are in this small saucepan. I'm going to put some water on this, put it on a medium low heat just to warm it up. And then I'm going to put these in the oven for 220. They're going to be in there for about 10, 15 minutes until I'm ready to pack them. And we're going to go from there. So we are to our jarring part. I have quart jars and I have pint sized jars. Here's the quarts. They're the bigger ones and the pints are just half of that. So typically you would put two tablespoons of lemon juice in the quart jar. 
in one tablespoon of lemon juice in the pint jar. And if you don't have lemon juice, or you'd like to use citric acid instead so it's not so um, extra tangy with the lemon juice, you can use a quarter teaspoon for the pints and a half teaspoon for the quarts. So that is two tablespoons of lemon juice or a half teaspoon of citric acid for the quarts. And that is one tablespoon of lemon juice or a quarter teaspoon of citric acid for the pints. So there you go. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my jars. That way we have an acid base that we are adding our tomato sauce to. Now I'm going to start filling it up. Once we get our tomato sauce in the jar and we have that half inch of headspace that we're looking for, we're going to take a clean wet washcloth and wipe around the rim, make sure there's not any tomato sauce. We're going to take our lid or our flat, put that down. And then we're going to take our ring or band and just finger tighten. And then we're going to be moving this over to the water bath canner until the rest of these jars are done. Okay, so we dropped the jars into the water bath canner, put the lid on, it is on high, it came to a rolling boil, so we started our timer for 35, 40 minutes. I'm doing 40 minutes since there are some quart jars in there. But after it's done, we take the lid off, we remove it from the heat, let it sit for five minutes, and then we can take our jars out and this is what they will look like. See, that definitely would not make a good uh, pasta sauce or not pasta sauce, it would definitely would not make a good pizza sauce. It's way too runny for that. But this is an epic tomato sauce for chili and maybe tomato soup or uh, vegetable soup or something like that that I can make in the fall months and the winter months. So I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and my little snafu and how I turned it around and kept going. Uh, you can do that with anything in your life. It's like a whole metaphor. It's awesome. So when life hands you lemons, make chocolate cake and leave people wondering how in the world did that happen? But you know, you know how it happened. So <laughs> made no sense. As I was saying it, it kind of made, I don't know, but anyway, I'm just going to keep that in there. So we're just going to keep going. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you in the next one. Happy canning!